So as a machinist, I'm here at a place that delivered every machine I ever run. But do you know what goes into actually getting the machine you're running on the shop floor? Well, we're here to find out. site here at Fleg Projects they have 13 lorries, 40 vans, 23 fork trucks, 6 cranes, 3 go-karts and 2 racing carts. <laughs> they even have their own expertise in-house to maintain their own equipment. How cool is this? Why, why do you get excited about the equipment that you buy? Um, just because it's, it's interesting because I'll design my own lifted equipment so I, I will basically look at what we've been doing and where we've been struggling so I'll then design something and uh, it's just quite funny because after we've built something we tend to find that other machine movers see our truck going down the road and oh yeah we'll have one of them and then they'll just go and order it from the manufacturer that built our one um, saying we want one like Flex um, because it, you know again we're engineers so we design stuff a lot of other people don't so it's good fun. Right, Daddy Fleg. Hello. Who are Fleg Projects and what do you do? Uh, we are a machinery specialist that basically um, give a turnkey uh, solution for OEMs of machinery. We are uh, a little bit different to everybody else because everybody's homegrown, trained um, from scratch, um, and we're an engineering transport business rather than a transport engineering business. So um, we actually, um, all of our engineers are drivers, but they're really engineers. Um, so instead of going around in a tall van, they go around in a tall truck. So they will deliver the machinery and uh, install them as well. I mean, obviously we buy the best kit. They love, you know, the guys. We, we've had truck drivers that come on and they just want to come work for us because they love the trucks because they are the best. You know, we've got flat screen TVs, DVDs, everything in there for them, satellite dish, microwave ovens. On today's episode of MTD Crib, we're going to take a roll around this 80 ton lorry. Oh, I can't get in with my key, man. Wow, I've never been so tall. Oh. Jesus. So, I have never been in something like this, and it looks. I don't even know. Look at the beds. So, you've got two beds, bunk bed and top bed, flat screen TV, microwave, fully automatic. Oh my God, this thing's awesome. Everything you'd find in like a really top end, high end car is in here. Plus, there's no wing mirrors. There's no wing mirrors, it's all it's all cameras and if I'm fancying a nap oh my god I didn't even see up here so you've got all your all your cupboards up here for your towels and your flip-flops and it's just oh oh microwave can't stand up got his microwave for when we need to eat on the road um, essential all the cleaning products because I don't know if you'll notice, but this truck is very clean inside. And I really wish I'd have took my shoes off before I got in. Um, we've also got up and down on the bed, which I'm not touching because I don't know what it does. And this truck is amazing. Um, so they come on thinking they're gonna drive a lorry, um, but then they learn obviously there's a lot more involved. Um, and we'll then send our engineers with them on an installation um, and insist that they have to learn to do that side of it. So they learn about jacking, skating, um, you know, installing, bolting together, um, and just become a lot more than just a truck driver. It all comes down to the experience of the people that are answering the phones. I mean, uh, Mark, our sales director, he's got a team under him that he's trained as well. And we have people that, um, it, we, we put it into three categories. We'll have, if a guy says, oh, I've got a, a machine that I need to pick up from A to B, we will put that in a category one to 5,000 pounds. So 
that will be handled with like the normal guys. They will organise, uh, you know, a quotation over the phone because it's pretty simple. Um, then you've got sort of multiple machines, so that will be something that we might go and survey because it might need six, seven trucks to go and take the machinery. Um, and then you've got your bigger projects when you know somebody says I need to move a whole factory, um, so we'll then go out and survey again. Um, but then that will take the project manager because there'll be a lot more scheduling and stuff like that involved. So. When a company are growing, you can see that the floor space here was about 30,000 and then oh, um, up here they built a mezzanine that's about 15,000 square foot in size and then this facility and their others equates to about 70,000 square foot and they're still growing. And as you can see by just the size of the machine behind us, they will lift anything from 15 kg up to 150 tonne. It's really a case of understanding about mechanics. You know, all of our guys basically have been trained from the very start. We, we take people on that aren't necessarily in our business. Um, so, you know, we've had um, car mechanics, electricians, those kind of people that we would bring on. Um, and uh, we train them on installing a machine, but then using the skills that they've already learned to add extra to what we do. Lift shafts, they're normally the ones that, you know, where people kind of uh, forget. So um, as we talked about earlier, we had a machine uh, that arrived and they forgot that it had to go in the lift shaft and it just didn't physically fit height, width, weight. So our guys then take all the tackle out of the vehicles because our trucks have full tackle boxes in every, you know, on every vehicle. So we will strip and get the machine down to the size it needs to be. Um, obviously let the customer know. So instead of just saying, I'm really sorry, we can't get it in, we would then say, I'm really sorry, it doesn't fit. It's going to be extra because we're going to have to spend this extra time on it. And then the guys will strip the whole machine down, fit it in the lift, and then take it up and install and then rebuild it again. We are very much a word of mouth company. Um, we've only just started really pushing on sales. Um, so we have always found that we will go and deliver a machine for an OEM and the end user will be like, wow, these guys are amazing. Um, and they will then take our details and then ask if we can move a couple of other machines for them. Um, and then that normally builds a relationship with a guy because we make their jobs easy. So eventually then if they expand, which a lot of companies are doing in the UK, we will get the whole shouting match for moving the whole factory. So it kind of goes from there. So can anyone just pick up a machine, move it, put it in a truck and move it onto site? No. <laughs> people, um, people have tried, but um, you know, there's silly things that we do. Uh, understanding the centre of balance of a machine, being able to just look at a machine and understand an, uh, where it would be, because there's no markings on most machinery. So it's all about um, the, the skill of, of being able to tell where you need to put your jacks, where you need to put your skates. We've seen so many people that have put skates the wrong way around and, and jacked a machine and then it's fell over, um, just through basic skills of understanding what you're doing. I mean, the, the parameters of a job are quite difficult because obviously there's so many aspects to a job. But even looking at the ground, you know, we, uh, a lot of people now we machine move with three skates. Um, a lot of people try and still use four. Um, and the problem is if you have a, a slightly undulating ground on four skates, one skate will kick out, you know, on any corner as the ground drops away. Whereas if you have it on a triangulated um, set of skates on three pads, it can't actually tip and it makes a huge difference to the stability of the machine. Did you know Flegg deliver nine to ten machines a day? That's 60 in a week. That's 3,000 in a year. So that's why they're known as the machinery movers you can trust. So all of this expertise move your machines across the world.